Welcome back. My name is Jim Caseman, and we're talking about faith. And what we're doing, we're trying to show that it takes faith in every area of life. You have to believe. And uh, so without faith, it's impossible to please God because you can't see God. He's a spirit. And uh, you can't see angels because they're spirits. So by faith, we believe these angels exist and that they're here. And we just have to put our... So that's what we'll talk about, angels, right now. And what are angels? Well, I'll just, we'll, do a, we'll just do our best to keep up with the Bible, with the scriptures. And uh, now we're looking at Psalms chapter 8 and verse 5. And for you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. And of course, the word angel means messenger in the Hebrew and in the Greek. Angels are individual spiritual beings created by God sometime before Adam and Eve were created. Hebrews 1 and 14 tells us that, that they are ministering spirits to, the, uh, the, to us. And um, so then, all angels were created holy. We see that in Mark chapter 8, in verse 38, coming over here to Mark. And, and uh, Mark eight thirty eight, and it says, for, for whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Now, all angels have the ability to make choices. In other words, they are spiritual beings, and they also have been given a free will, just like we as we talked about that already, about how we as people have been given a free will. And of course, you can see that when you when we know that uh, uh, Lucifer rebelled against God. See, he had a free will. He chose to rebel against God, and of course, he ultimately ended up being kicked out of heaven. All right, which we'll get to that later, I'm sure. So all angels have the ability to make choices. Angels cannot be redeemed. Ezekiel 28, 19 tells us that. I don't know. Maybe we should go back to Ezekiel 28 and then pick it up in verse 19. Come on, Ezekiel 38 and verse 19. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 28. I went 38. All right, 28, 19. Get my numbers straight here. 19. All, all, um, oh, good night. I'm losing my train of thoughts here. All right, Ezekiel 28, 19. Hallelujah. Harabatiki on the Limati. Harabatiki on the Limati. Anyway, that's not, not right. Well, we'll go 20. <laughs> I'm not doing very good here today. <laughs> All right, we'll try Revelation 20 and see how that works. Well, we know what that one is in verse 14. It tells us that then the um, then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire, and this is the second death. And, of course, I was talking about Satan and his whole bunch. Uh, verse 13, the sea gave up the dead who were in the... In it, death and Hades delivered up the dead and were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. And of course, that included all of the all of hell, death and Hades. That's all of the angels, the fallen angels as well, were cast into the lake of fire forever and ever. All right. They cannot be redeemed. Angels cannot be given in marriage. Therefore, they do not procreate as a race. And, and Luke, well, let's see if we can do better this time and pick it up in Luke chapter 20 <clears throat> and um, verse 27. Then some of the Sadducees who denied that there is a resurrection came to him and asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote to us that if a man's brother dies having a wife and he dies without children and his brother should take his wife and raise his up offspring for his brother. And there were seven brothers. First took a wife and died without children. Second took her as a wife and died childless. 
Third took her, and in their like manner the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife does she become? For all seven had her as a wife. And Jesus answered and said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are counted worthy to attain that age and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Nor can they die anymore, for they are equal to the angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But even Moses showed that the burning bush showed that the dead are raised when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And so we are, then it would be, there's no marriage in heaven. Angels, they can't procreate and produce baby angels. And uh, so that's it. There's no marriage in heaven with angels. All right. And angels do not die. And of course, that's again in, in Luke 20 uh, and verse 24, backing it up here. And uh, oh, I cannot die. 24, verse 24. Oh, my goodness. And uh, that's as far. Well, we just read that with the angels. All right. So then, they're innumerable. Hebrews 12, 22, it tells us the angels are innumerable. You can't count them. That's how many there are. Wow. And they're intelligent beings. And we go, I have to come back to 2 Samuel for that one. Pick it up back here, 2 Samuel, here you are. And, uh, and 14 and 20. Okay, 2 Samuel 14 and 20. To bring about this, let's see. To bring about this change of affairs, your servant Job has done this thing. But my Lord is wise, according to the wisdom of the angel of God, to know everything that is in the earth. And of course, of course, using that as uh, they're intelligent beings. And in other words, although angels perform ministry on earth, their main habitation is in heaven. Michael, Gabriel, and Lucifer, Lucifer being Satan, are the only angels whose names appear in the Bible. However, it is likely that all spiritual beings have names. You know, I think that's interesting. Because when they, um, you know, talking about the power of God and the wisdom of God, I guess uh, we go back to, um, uh, oh my goodness, you know, in the beginning, you know, God created over two billion, let's be like Bravo, galaxies. And then I used to say billions and billions of stars, but now, the, according to the uh, telescopes they have out there and everything now, they say that there are one septillion stars. That's a one with 24 zeros behind it. That's how many stars there are. But then in uh, Psalms 147, verse 1, it says God, God counts the number of the stars, septillion stars, and then he gives each one of them a name. That's septillion <laughs> names. <laughs> and... Um, so a name for all of them. So why not have names for all the angels? You got, you got uh, named one septillion stars all have names. Why wouldn't angels and people? Anyway, I don't know how I got off on that. I better be careful here so I don't... I've been making a habit of running over the 10 minutes, which I'm not supposed to do. So, all right. So they're the only angels. However, it's likely that all spiritual beings have names. I guess that would you know, be human spirits as well as angelic spirits. All right, I think we'll better cut it off there. I'll run it over 10, and we don't want to do that. All right, bless you. Count the stars if you can. <laughs> and see you in the next session. Amen.